They are currently in the 50s, and many of you may be complaining that it's chilly here. Look at the current numbers in Chicago. 33 there, 6 in Minneapolis. That is our coldest spot on the map. 13 in Bismarck. We're seeing 20s and 30s in the northeast New England areas. But as we take a look at the wind chill right now, it feels like 10 below in Minneapolis. It feels like 22 in Chicago and Boston. It feels like the teens in Kansas City and Billings. It feels like 7 in Denver. And here comes that polar air that is going to drop those temperatures and wind chill temperatures as we head into Tuesday, but especially by Wednesday. So this is what I was talking about. It could feel like negative 49 in Minneapolis by Wednesday morning. It could feel like 44 below zero in Chicago, and it could feel like uh, 10 below in Cincinnati, 13 below in Kansas City. So aren't you thankful to be here in South Florida? Yes, this is paradise as we look from our broad camera in Fort Lauderdale. The return of the sunshine after quite a soggy weekend and we're still seeing a few clouds from our Key West camera but that's okay all right we're not dealing with any wet weather and you don't need to carry that rain gear instead sweater weather right with upper 50s in Fort Lauderdale in Miami it's all relative this is cool for South Florida standards 60 in Kendall and Homestead low 60s down through the Keys and temperatures right now 9 to even 19 degrees cooler in comparison to yesterday as we have that cooler dryer settling in in the wake of the front that breeze out of the northwest 9 14 miles an hour it's making it feel even a little chillier to the skin with those highs only in the upper 60s if we even get to that because it's really staying cool out there as I can see so far moderate risk of rib currents at the beach just keep that in mind maybe you want to head out there but just be safe and also for boaters a small craft advisory winds north northwest 15 to 25 knots seas 8 to 10 and a moderate chop on the bays so tonight we will be even colder as we'll see those lows fall to the low to mid 50s along the coast. Inland areas could be even chillier with the upper 40s for some of the western suburbs. So tomorrow you're still needing to bundle up and take those heavier sweaters and jackets in the morning. But maybe layers is the key because by the afternoon for your Tuesday, the high 72. As we get into Wednesday morning, still a chill with lows in the upper 50s. Not as cold, but still chilly. High around 74. And then as we get into Thursday morning, the low 60s, highs around 74. But we'll start to see maybe the chance for some spotty showers. Friday morning, look at lows back in the upper 60s, and highs will be seasonable right where they should be at this time of year. Friday, 76. As we get into the weekend for Super Bowl weekend, we'll see highs getting a little warmer and a more sunshine. 78 Saturday, 79 for Super Bowl Sunday. Ladies.